Out in the game at Xavier on Wednesday. Simon, little runner, puts it in. Well, he's been the most aggressive player outside. St. John so good at forcing turnovers. Oh, good look underneath by Ponce for Tariq Owens for the easy dunk. Here in the first six minutes of the ball game. And Georgetown now playing through Derrickson with Govan on the bench with two fouls. Derrickson is going to be their go-to guy. Pickett, good move on the baseline. Got it in the foul. Jamarco Pickett, their look defense. Pons pulls up for three. Got it. Shamori Pons with that three gives St. John's the lead. Exactly. And they also want to force St. John's to be a perimeter shooting team. Pons able to hit the mid-range jumper. Well, he's off to a good start. He's playing within himself, but he's still staying for a game in conference play. St. John's trying to get some movement. Not being stagnant is the best way to attack the win. Oh, pretty play right there by Simon and Tariq Owens. And the rebound for Jonathan Momor. Off a stop. Can Georgetown get points? Pickett for three. Got it! Pickett. St. John's trying to push the tempo. Pons off the glass. Puts it in. He's so good around the rim. Crossover and not get beat when he passes it out. So if you're gonna double, you have to double quick. Blair for three. Got it. Second three of the half for Javon Blair. A three-point lead for Justin Simon. Owen sets the pick for Simon to the hoop for the dunk, and that's a good way to open up for St. John's. Great start and it go van trying to find Derrickson against Clark. Spins back to the right, doesn't get the roll. The tip is good by Johnson, using his long wingspan. Oh, there's a turnover for Georgetown. Here comes Pons, leaving it back for Simon. Underneath Owens to the reverse, puts it in, and that puts St. John's on top by two. And this time he misses. Up ahead for Simon. He's got Clark, puts up the alley for the dunk. And that's how you play. You know, scoring off your defense, great fast break, great execution. And St. Good hands by Simon, tips ahead, here comes Simon. Simon for the dunk! St. John's is in a different gear defensively. Govan against Owens, shot clock at nine. Govan off the glass. A couple of field goals now in the second half for Jesse Govan. We are coming in here to win this game, and he's playing like it. Mosley, floater, puts it in. Nice move there by Shagan Mosley. Pons splits through two and puts it in. What a move there by Shamori Pons. Was... The Warriors continue to play inside out. Well, Derrickson hasn't shot the ball well. Goes back to that left hand again. And there is Derrickson now with nine. Those are his first. Almost thought Pons should have shot that himself. The corner three for Blair is good for the lead. Javon Blair. The eye on the shooters. In this case, it's Pickett and Blair. You can't help off those guys. Derrickson back to that left hand. Puts in again. He's very comfortable going to the left hand. Straight up, 101. Derrickson in trouble. Finds Pickett underneath for Govan. Just trying to get some separation. Underneath there. Finishes Govan. Well, they had great spacing. Simon will reset. Into the corner. Clark for the tie. Got it. It's a big time shot. Clark wanted that ball. He was waiting, waiting in the corner. And he, and he does. Bashir Ahmed. He puts up the shot. No. Derrickson. Bashir Ahmed gets it back and puts it in with 28.3. And a timeout taken by St. John's. He's win of the season. Pons splits it again. Puts it in, tie game with 13.4. And a timeout is taken here by Georgetown. They're going to put 13.4 back on the clock. Well, Pons wanted that ball. You can see the whole way down. He wanted the ball. He wanted that moment. Fatal 
Baseline jumper knocks it down. Well, you can't guard it any better. That's just a big. Orleans, the baseline jumper, got it. Back and forth we go. And Pons again. Shot clock at 10. Pons, again a nifty dribble. Extra pass, a man for three. Got it! What a play, and it all started with Pons. Derrickson, seven seconds, six. Derrickson for three. Tiger! Here comes Pons. Two seconds. Pons puts it up. Trying to work the ball around and get Holes the ball. three and the foul. This place is rocking. And it's been a variety of players that have stepped up, and I believe this is the third three that Hoya, the Hoyas have made. And playing them straight up, and then Yahweh. And a foul. This is the best I've seen Derrickson play in clutch moments. Avoids the double with a step back. And he has 93-89. Georgetown sweeps the season series against St. John's. Coach, uh, first of all, congratulations. Double overtime victory against St. John's. Just your thoughts right now as you're sitting here, standing here talking to us on this game. It was a tough game. It was. It wasn't pretty. Uh, you know, it seems like every time we play St. John's, even back when I was playing, it was always a, a ugly game. Uh, you know, Chris and I was joking a little bit. Uh, you know, on the floor about. You know, I'm out here sweating like I was. We, we're both. We're both. We're both out there sweating. And I think I took a page out of his book. I had to take my tie off. But it was a hard fought game. You know, um, we went. It was a game of runs. You know, they went on a run. We went on a run. Uh, you know, they we they, we came back. They came back. But it was a it was a tremendous game. I'm sure the fans, uh, you know, was happy about, uh, happy uh, about the game. Our fans was happy. Their fans was happy. I mean, their fans were sad that they got the, that they lost. But I think everybody was happy that you know how how hard both teams played. How about Marcus Derrickson? What he did in overtime and double overtime, he essentially took that game over, and especially the three at the end of the first OT. Yes, he did. He did. You know, I was kind of on his butt a, a little bit. Uh, I was going to uh, curse him out about the three, but, I, yeah. you know, it's one of those shots as a coach. No! Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great, it was a big shot. It was a big shot. You know, um, it was uh, uh, a double, a double, uh, double drag. And he popped, you know, both of them popped, and they, they're both great shooters. And he was able to get a, a good shot. Well, what does this say about your team, Pat? You come off a tough loss. You got you got beat pretty bad versus Villanova. You come back today, and obviously you, you, you beat St. John's about a week and a half ago, and you knew they were going to come at you. Uh, the resiliency and, and this young group that you have uh, growing and learning on the job. Yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of them. You know, I'm very proud of them. We we had our, one of our worst loss as a university, and you know they showed character. Um, they could have easily have, you know, given up and uh, lay down, but they showed character. They fought. Um, you know, like I said, you know, St. John's made runs. We made runs, and they could have easily had let go of the rope, and they didn't. They fought and and showed a lot of effort and a lot of fight and was able we was able to pull out the win coach one last question we saw a moment with you and, and Chris Mullen at the end of the game a great moment what was said between you two well you know they, they, they have a great team a, a very good team you know like we talked in uh, before the game and um, it's puzzling why you know they haven't won any games yet but you know they are they're well coached they're very talented and their wins will come yeah coach congratulations thank, thank you, you. Thanks, appreciate, coach. appreciate it thank you good win. thanks fellas all right